Hey YouTube! I want to thank Izzy's Reading Corner, I will be leaving her link down below, for requesting this video. Today, we're talking about developing characters. So you have an idea for a story, and you're thinking, this is a great concept, I'm gonna write it. And you also have pretty much kind of a very skeletal idea of your main character. Now you find yourself in the pre-developmental phase and you're needing to develop characters. This, for some people, is easy, while for others, not so much. So here are a few tips that will hopefully be helpful to you during that specific stage of developing all your characters. First, we need to do some character mapping. That's right. What is character mapping? Well, pretty much you're asking yourself, who are your characters? And through that, you're going to map out all the details that you need to know in order to then incorporate them into your story. Now, this is usually visually done through different types of charts or templates. When it comes to character mapping, there are an endless amount of options. It all depends on what's going to work best for you. You can actually go online and just Google character maps or character development and you will find tons of different types of blank templates. You want to start preparing some sort of document that you can reference to as you're writing your story. Some people do this on spreadsheets, others just flat out do it on a Word document, and some people like notebook and pens. Whatever will work for you to help one, keep you organized, and two, to aid in the consistency of your characters within your story. Once you've chosen your method to start mapping out all the characters, or, or at least all of the main and secondary characters that are necessary, now you're actually gonna start breaking down each and every character. So, for example, you wanna ask what role this specific character is going to play within your story. Are they the protagonist? Are they the love interest? Are they the best friend? Are they the villain? Or are they the frenemy who's gonna stab the main character in the back? Dum dum dum! Next step. Once you kind of have an understanding, let's say you know that so and so, after you name them, are going to be your main character. They're going to be the protagonist of the story. Now, we need to understand more about this person and who they're gonna be. This is when you need to ask yourself, what is the motivation behind your character? What does my character want? What is the main thing that they are desiring in this story? Whether it's a contemporary fiction, or it's a sci-fi, or it's a high fantasy, or a horror, there is a specific want that your character is desiring within this concept that you've created. This is what's going to drive them to make the decisions that they will make. And once you understand more what it is your character wants, whether it be the protagonist, the villain, the love interest, the best friend, whoever, or the Flojo from the barista bar that you included in chapter three, who has a few lines, even he needs a want, a motivation that you need to understand because it's going to help you write these characters honestly. Once you know what your character wants, now ask yourself, what do they need? We desire many things. We want many things. Doesn't mean we need them. And a lot of times, something that we want can actually be detrimental to our forward movement. And so what we actually need is the opposite of our want. And that's actually something that can be fun to really psychoanalyze for your character because if you set them on a path that is directly coinciding with their desire but it is not what they need, here's a perfect opportunity to present tension and allowing the obstacles surrounding them to try to steer them against their want and towards their need. The next thing you have to ask yourself is what are the consequences? If they don't meet their goal, their, their want goal, the thing that they desire, that they're wanting, and that they're going after, if they don't meet that goal, what are the consequences? 
There has to be some sort of consequences. Why do they feel so passionate about wanting this? It doesn't have to be a life and death scenario. It just has to be something that is going to bring enough tension to the story. Because if there's no tension, you have a boring story. You want your character to feel that struggle. And if your character's feeling it, then your readers will as well, which makes for a far more interesting story because then you're going to want to know what's going to happen. Are they going to get what they want? If they don't, holy crap, is this going to really happen to them? And if it does, oh no, then what? Plot twist. Dun, dun, dun. Next. This next step is something you're actually going to have to set some time aside and do. And that is, what is your character's backstory? It is so important to create some form of backstory for all of your characters. Even your secondary characters, even the ones that are just going to make a momentary cameo ensemble. Even that barista who's going to have a few lines but plays some significant part even though he's only going to show up that one time. Even he needs at least a oh, one paragraph backstory about why his encounter with your main character or with your main character's love interest played such a significant role. The more you know about them, the easier it's actually going to be to write them. The easier it's going to be for you to understand why they would do certain things and why they would say certain things. So go back and ask yourself a few questions about their experiences. What were their childhood like? What is their parental situation? What was their favorite memory? What is their favorite candy? What is their favorite color and number? Why is it their favorite color and number? Maybe there was a time when they were little that they encountered the sunset and that shade of orange became their favorite color from that day forward. Hashtag PETA. All these little details really help to bring your character to life and you'll be surprised even if 90% of what you write doesn't end up in your story, it will affect your character 90% of the time because a lot of what they're going to say, the choices they're going to make will reflect on these parts of their past that you created. Once you've created a backstory for your characters, you want to now know what are their strengths and then you want to know what are their weaknesses because you need to make your characters flawed. There are no human beings in the world that are perfect. And what makes for interesting storytelling is seeing flawed people making sometimes flawed decisions. The more flawed they are, the more there actually is to play with and to really kind of use to create obstacles and situations within your story. So by all means, even the love interest, even the hero, he's going to have or she's going to have a flaw as well. So don't fear giving your characters a few flaws. Now, so far, everything that I've mentioned, I actually consider these the bare bones essential. So now if you want to take it a step further, here are a few details that you can add. You can actually start breaking down what they look like physically. Now I know technically some of you are going to be like, well, wasn't that part of the essentials? That should have happened in the beginning. Yes and no. You can kind of have a minimal idea of what your character's physical traits are. But at the end of the day, everyone's going to picture a character differently. The main thing is the meat of who they are, what they want, what they're doing, why they're doing it. Those are the things that you're going to write about. You're not gonna continuously write about what they look like. Another thing you can ask yourself is, how does my character speak? What is their, their style, their tone? When they're talking, are they long-winded? Are they quiet? Are they a person of few words? Are they nerdy? Are they vulgar? Are they the jokester? Are they the filterless person? So every time they speak, whatever they're thinking just comes out of their mouth, sometimes in the most inopportune times. The manner that everyone speaks does give away something about them. If they're a city slicker businessman who's very put together and always quiet and stands stoic, but he's talking like he's a country twang cowboy, something's not going to feel honest about that. In the end, it's all about trusting your instinct. Go with your gut. Sometimes you planned for a certain action or dialogue and you really, really wanted it. This has happened to me before. I have planned for something, it's what I wanted, and you know what? I tried to force it in there. But my gut was saying it wasn't right 
and it didn't feel natural. Trust your gut when you're writing. So those are my tips when it comes to character mapping. If you guys have any further questions regarding developing characters, by all means, ask them in the comments below. Thank you to Izzy for your question. I apologize that it's taken so long for me to finally make this video for you, but I hope even if you're technically past this point of your writing process, that it may still help you in any way for any future character development. We ask that if you like this video, you guys give it a thumbs up. Just click that thumb, the one that's facing up. If this is the first time you're here, hey, hi. How are you? There is a subscribe button somewhere around the <laughs> There's a subscribe button somewhere in the vicinity of my face in this video. You guys should click it. Click that button to subscribe and you will know each time we come at you with a new video. Don't forget to check out our mugs at our shop. You can go to coffee reading writing Dot com. We're actually really excited because we have a brand new mug arriving this week. So follow us on social media. I have all those links down below. Don't miss out on the new stuff coming up. So once again, thank you guys for watching. We got more writing videos coming up, so stay tuned. And I'll see you guys again soon with more randomness. Bye. Now you find yourself in the potion. No, in the potion? Yeah. Okay. So here are the... <laughs> character specifically specifically god this is gonna be great